Hello everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Rans Graphics and this time I'm gonna be showing you how to create a travel memory photo slideshow inside After Effects. For those graphic artists out there that they have a client that wanted to compile their travel photos in a slideshow, I think this is a good technique for you. So guys, let's jump into what we are gonna be creating today. As usual, let me begin by creating a new composition. I will name it Media 1. 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, and 5 seconds duration. Click OK. I will go back again to composition, create a new composition, and I will name it Placeholder 1. frames per second and 5 seconds duration click ok and one more i will go back to composition and create a new composition i will name it text placeholder 1 click ok i will grab the text tool i will type travel We will be using gloss and glue, 150 pixel size, letter spacing I will change it to 0 and I will align it to the center horizontally. I will just drag it a bit down then I will highlight it and duplicate it. I will press P on my keyboard for the position and drag it down. And I will double click it to change the text. I will change it to slideshow. I will change the font size to about 72 pixels. Letter spacing I will change it to 200. And I will drag it up, grab the text tool and I will type name of. This time I am using font name Grupu. center horizontally change the font size to about 80 i will again grab the text tool and i will type place i will use the font name impact align this at the center horizontally drag it down a bit so i will open the placeholder one open the folder assets and go to image folder drag the image one on my timeline open the media one i will drag down on my timeline the placeholder and also the text placeholder i will right away duplicate this placeholder one and i will highlight these two disable the visibility on it i will highlight the placeholder one and rename it bg and change the label her to orange i will highlight the text placeholder one and change the label to cyan i will go to placeholder one and rename it shape one and i will enable the title action to save go to view check the show rollers so now i will go to the pen tool create a mass shape i'll just create a triangle one go to effects and preset find perspective drop shadow change the drop shadow to 20 and the softness is 50 i will change the direction here to 90 degrees 
so I will go to effects and preset generate and stroke I will change the brush hardness to 0 and the spacing to 0 color I will change it to grayish so when we enable this background image look at that there is a stroke and there is a shadow so what I'm gonna do is to animate the stroke I will go to about 2 seconds press P on my keyboard for position create a keyframe on the end make it 0 we go to about 3 seconds make the end value to 100 press U on my keyboard to see the keyframes and move it a bit to 1 second and 10 frames I will highlight these keyframes press F5 to easy ease it and open my graph editor I want the graph to be like this if you don't see this graph editor just click this one and check the edit speed graph so now I will duplicate this shape one edit duplicate it and I will press M on my keyboard and delete the mask grab my pen tool again and I will create a new shape grab a guide for an easy alignment on your shape so this time I will just change this color to bluish that should be good enough I will duplicate it again press M on my keyboard and delete the mask and grab the pen tool and draw again here and again duplicate this one press M on your keyboard highlight the mask and delete it then grab your pen tool and draw another shape shape to change the color to bluish as you can see it's already blue I will also highlight this shape 3 change the color to blue So now I will highlight these compositions from shape 1 to 4. Press P on my keyboard and I will randomly move my keyframe so that I will create a variation in my animations. Okay. I will highlight again all these shape compositions. Press P on my keyboard for the position and create a keyframe. Move back my playhead at the beginning of my timeline and I will highlight each composition and I will move it outside of the canvas. Now I will highlight all these keyframes and press F9 to easy it and go open my graph editor and highlight all and make your graph like this. So I will close it. Enable the 3D layers. I will change the active camera to top and I want these compositions to be closer to the camera randomly so now I will go to layer create a new camera I'm using two nodes 35mm preset camera 
and I will go back to layer and create a new null object and I want this null object to be a 3d layer too and parent the camera to the null object I will put back my active camera and highlight this BG and I will again create another mask like this and then duplicate this BG highlight the bottom one and open the mask and just invert this one go your playhead to about 1 second and 20 frames and highlight these two and press P on your keyboard create a keyframe move your playhead to the beginning of your timeline move your shape outside of your canvas highlight all the keyframes press F9 to easy easy it open the graph editor and make your graph like this go back to the shape 3 and change the angle from 90 degrees to negative 90 degrees and also the shape 4 change this one first I will also adjust the mask align it properly and I will change the direction from 90 degrees to negative 90 so now I will highlight these two background images press s on my keyboard for the scale and i will change this to 130 and then i will highlight this null too and press p on my keyboard for the position and move my player to about two seconds create a frame in here go to about five seconds animate it So this is what we want. Seems that this one is appearing at the same time. So I will probably go back to the shape one. Press P on my keyboard and delay it a bit. Move my keyframe forward. And also the shape three. I will also press P on my keyboard. I will delay it by moving forward my keyframes. pretty nice if you want to change the brush size on your stroke you can do it in here for me I just want to make it two so I'm already satisfied with that size so I will close this one enable the text placeholder disable all these visibilities from null object to background so I can see the text I will go to project and open my footage drop down these two footages move the flare up and press T for the opacity and I will change the opacity to 80 and also the book key I will press T on my keyboard for opacity and I will change this to 20% I will toggle the switches in here change this to add I will go to effects and preset, go to color correction, curves, make it darker a bit and highlight this RG flare, enable the time remapping, adjust this layer to the end of my timeline, move forward my keyframe here, then go to effects and preset, color correction, curves, I want it darken a bit, go to view and clear the guide. So we are done with our scene one. All I have to do is to go to the project panel, create folder, and I will name it scene one. And I will place all the compositions on my scene one folder. I will create another folder and I will name it scene two. 
highlight all the compositions in the scene 1 folder go to edit and duplicate it I will drag this to the scene 2 folder and I will open the scene 2 folder close the scene 1 and highlight this placeholder 2 and media 2 double click your mouse to open it up I will go to placeholder 2 delete this image and go to assets folder open it up go to image and drag down this image to in your timeline press s to scale it i think that should be good enough and go to media 2 so now you can enable the visibility of these layers click alt and hold it and change the compositions in here i will highlight the background and change it to background 2 change this to placeholder 2 So now everything has changed so all you have to do is to also change the shape if you want to but to me i will just duplicate this shape go to edit duplicate it and i will press p for the position move it forward and it's up to you if you want to add or change the shape it's your discretion I will change the animation of this one by moving forward my keyframes a little bit. So I will again duplicate the shape 3 and press M, highlight it and delete the mask. Grab your pen tool, make a triangle here to make it consistent with our design. Highlight the LOL object and press P for the position and change the animation of your camera. I just want this to be near the camera go back again to media 1 I just want to enable the visibility of these layers I will create a new composition and I will name it main I just want to change the duration to 10 okay I will open the scene 1 drop down the media 1 and also the media 2 on my timeline and move the media 2 probably here render this So guys our tutorial has been done and I hope that I help you and my thoughts for today guys is that good thing comes to those who believe and better things come if you are patient and most of all best things comes when you never give up. For those people who subscribe my channel thank you very much and for those people who are new don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, hit the notification bell so that you will be updated to all the videos that I'm gonna be uploading in the future. So guys, thank you for watching and until next time, God bless.